Thank you everybody for tuning back into my channel. We about to get these toes together. Lord, they jacked up. So I actually um didn't let my toenail polish dry all the way before I put them in my shoe. That's why they look like that. But we about to get them together. We 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 about to get them cute. High five for those, baby. Yes. So follow the list. Stop, pause, rewind, do whatever you need to do so that you will have everything you need for this DIY French mini pity. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove any old polish that you may have on your toes. Um, and then you want to go ahead and foul them down to your desired length and shape. I do this before I let my feet soak because my toenails are extremely weak and when the water hits them, they just get weaker. I used to go get my feet done all the time from the spa, but now it just seems like they just rush and they're just on to the, you know, the next customer. And I get it's a business, but I also like to feel like I'm relaxing when I go pay to go get my feet done. So, but I prefer this anyway, because I can do it the way that I want to do it and soak however long I want to soak. But, um, to prep your water, basically you want to apply your foot soak. I'm using heel to toe, which you can get from Sally's. Um, make the water whatever temperature you like it, apply your foot soak. I'm also going to apply a little bit of Epsom salt to my water. The Epsom salt I believe I got from Walmart. And this um, dish, this is actually a dish pan that I got from Dollar General. You can pick you up from one from Dollar General and they'll cost you about two bucks. So after you let your feet soak for about 10 to 15 minutes, you then want to go in with a cuticle remover. Mine is by Sally Hansen. And you just want to apply that to your cuticles and you want to let that soak for about 10, I mean not 10, I'm sorry, two to five, maybe not even five minutes, two to three minutes. Then you just gently want to go in and push back your cuticles with a cuticle pusher. And then you also want to clip your cuticles. Be gentle when you're doing this and try not to clip your actual skin because it will hurt and you will bleed. now that you're pretty much done pushing back your cuticles and clipping off the extra dead um, cuticle skin, you just want to go in with a pumice board and with the rougher side you want to just take that side to remove any dead skin that's on your heels of your toes and on the bottom of your feet and then you want to take the soft lavender side and you just want to smooth out the skin with the soft lavender side and so the darker side is to remove dead skin and the um, smoother side is to smooth it out after you remove it. Once you remove all of the um, dead skin with your pumice board, you then want to go in with a foot exfoliant and exfoliate your feet. Don't forget to get your toenails really good. You can also bring this up on your leg. Um, but for the purpose of the video, I just did my feet. Um, and once you're done scrubbing and getting all of that dead skin out, you then can take a toe brush or whatever these little brushes are called and you'll see it really soon. And then just want to go along your feet and make sure when you exfoliate you're getting your toenail bed because sometimes dead skin still be stuck and it hangs around there. But once you're done and you rinse your feet off, take that toe brush and then just go across your toes gently to remove any of the exfoliant. And as you can see, I grow hair on my toes, so I do have to shave it off. Do whatever you need to do to get rid of the, the unwanted hair. <laughs> so once you remove the hair, go in with a moisturizer. 
and moisturize your feet really well. Don't forget, once you get done moisturizing, apply a, um, remove the moisturizer from your nail bed with an alcohol pad or some polish remover. Because if you don't, then the toenail polish will just slide right off. So this part is going to be in real time. Um, I want to show you guys in real time how I um, do my toes. So the line for your French tip, it does not have to be perfect. Just do your best to get it to whatever thickness or thinness you desire once you do that then we'll go in with a brush and clean it up later so don't worry about it being in the lines or being perfect just do the best you can and then we'll go in later and clean it up I do two coats of the white polish once I get done with one foot I then go over to the next foot and do another coat then back until I have two on each foot I do not allow it to dry completely but once I um, apply the polish I then as you can see take an angle brush like this this was an old makeup brush and then I go in and clean up the arch so this is why it doesn't have to be extremely perfect because once you're done, you can always go in and clean it up and it can be as thick or as thin as you would like it to be. So now that you're done cleaning up your line for your French tip, you now want to go in with the desired pink um, to give you that natural looking, I, I don't even know what to call it, but that natural glow or that natural pink from the toenail bed. Um, I'm going to do a separate video to show you guys how I got this pink. I did not buy it like this. I've never found a pink that comes exactly like this, but watch my next video and I'll show you how to get it. So once you're done, just go in and under the line, apply your pink and to give your toes a natural glow to finish off your French tip. So now that you are done applying your pink, you can now go in and apply your top coat. The one I'm using is by Sachet V or Sachet V. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I love this top coat. It gives amazing shine to the toenail. And you will see exactly what I mean um, once I get done with everything. It's, I love this top coat. It's amazing. <laughs> 